Magandang araw sa inyong lahat. Narito na naman tayo sa isang panibagong episode. Ako po si Chef Liza, ang inyong kitchen queen. Since nandito pa rin tayo sa ating pagkain Filipino series, I want to pay homage sa isang napaka-popular dish, very famous dish dito sa Tagaytay at sa Batangas. Walang iba kundi ang bulado. Tamang-tama dahil, syempre, rainy season pa rin ngayon, umuulan, masarap na masarap kumain ng bulalo sa mga ganitong panahon. So, I want to say it's true to how Batanggenyos and people from Tagaytay make this dish. So, gagamitan natin siya ng authentic ingredients na galing din dito. Kaninang, kanina galing kami sa Mahogany Market, bumili kami ng Batangas beef at ang iba pang ingredients na gagamitin natin para sa dish na to. So, for today's dish, I'm going to make Batangas Beef Bulalo. for our beef bulalo. 2 kilos of beef shank. Kung meron kayong nakitang marrow, mas maganda yun. Kasi utak yung talagang masarap eh. Parang diamond ng bulalo. Pechay bagyo or napa cabbage. Repolyo na pamilyar tayo. Bagyo beans. Yellow corn to give that sweetness sa ating sabaw. And onion leeks. Yung ibang tao, ginagamit nila yung dahon and leeks. Pero kasi, mas yung pinakatas ng leeks nandito siya sa stock. So, yun ang gagamitin natin. Ang onions at ang ating mga pampalasa. Patis, asin, at paminta. So, the first step in making our bulalo is to braise our meat. What is braising? It's a combination cooking method where you sear the meat first. Pinapapula natin sa mainit na mantika bago natin siya ilalaga. So braising is really good for the kinds of meat na hindi tender or yung mga ibang parts ng meat na mura lang, natin binibili, hindi yung mga ribeye, yung mga, ito, ito mga parts ito, mga chuck, mga shank. Kasi kaya natin mapalambot yung karne kung tapos natin siya i so you want to create a mild reaction. So what is mild reaction? Mild reaction is the browning effect that happens in the meat. Actually, braising is good kasi maganda rin to para matanggal yung lansa na nadadala ng baka. Ito lang din yung chance natin para magkaroon ng color yung meat. Kung gusto mo na medyo merong brown color yung meat natin, this is the perfect time to do it. Kasi once na nilaga na natin, yun na yun. Lalabot na siya. And we're putting water already dun sa meat. So, wala na. Mariretain na yung moisture na natitira dun sa ating baka. So, you want to evenly spread out the meat. Ayaw mo, hindi sila pwede nagsisiksikan. Kasi, pag nagsisiksikan sila, in this na masir natin yung meat, nagkikreate siya ng steam. What we want to do is to dry out the moisture that's coming from the meat. After searing our meat, we're ready to add some flavor dun sa ating karne. So, first, onion. Honestly, I really don't eat onions raw. Hindi ko siya makain. Hindi ko siya kayang kainin sa burger or sa mga salad. But I love putting onions on food. I love it when it's cooked. The flavor that it gives, the flavor that it adds, it's so fragrant. Hindi ba talaga yung lasa ng karne kapag pinigisa mo siya sa onion? Next up is our onion leeks. So, leeks basically also come from the onion family. Halos pareho sila ng lasa. But with leeks, it gives it a milder uh, onion taste. So masarap siya na i-flavor sa mga soups. Pwede siyang gawing soup itself. Kapag naguhugas kayo ng leeks, make sure na uh, tinatanggal niyo yung pinaka-root niya at puhugasan niyo yung dumi kasi doon nanonood yung mga bukangin. The next step is to add water or broth. So we're going to add water just enough to cover our meat. And this is when the boiling starts. From high heat, we are going to bring it to a very low simmer and let it cook 
for as long as we can, no? For, siguro, minimum of three hours. Napansin nyo, hindi ko nilagyan ng asin yung meat natin. Actually, you don't salt the meat hanggang sa lumambot siya. Kasi yung component ng salt, it toughens the meat. What we're trying to do is to actually tenderize our meat. After three hours, this is how our bulalo is supposed to look like. Nakikita natin na nagmamantika na siya, numambot na yung ating mga karne. Tapos, yung pinaka-oil niya, it's staying doon sa taas. So, this is the perfect time for you guys to skim off the fat or pwede nyo siyang ilagay sa ref. Tapos, yung sebo na mamumuo doon, tatanggalin nyo bago natin ipagpatuloy yung pagluluto. We're ready to add our vegetables. So, we start with our corn kasi ito yung pinaka-matagal maluto. Our bagyo beans. The rest of the veggies, our cabbage, and yung pechay bagyo natin. Ngayon, kumukulo na ang ating bulalo. It's ready for the seasonings. So, patis, and of course, pepper. Mmm! Amoy ko na yung beefy flavor ng bulalo. So, we're ready to finish our bulalo with the rest of our ingredients. Start with our cabbage. And this is just to quickly cook it. We're done with the flavor. Na achieve na natin yung beef broth na gusto natin. So basically, we're just gonna soak this for a quick minute or two, and we're ready to serve our bulalo. Ang secreto sa bulalo is just basically the longer it stays in a low simmer, the longer that you cook the beef, the more flavorful it gets. So kung kaya pa natin siyang tuloy tuloy kaya siguro masasarap yung mga bulalo restaurants dito sa Batangas, dito sa Tagaytay, kasi talagang their, their stock or their beef broth is cooking for hours. Um, dati, when I was in cooking school, yung beef stock namin, we would cook it for at least 8 hours. And that's the only time that you can create a beautiful stock. So, imagine if we can do that with our bulalo. That's going to be really amazing. our Batangas beef bulalo. Now ready to try it. Normally, kinakain ko yung bulalo sa kanin, tapos yung utak, hinahalo ko siya sa patis at saka sa kalamansi. Pero syempre, kung magagandong malalamig na panahon, masarap na malasup ang style ng pagkain. Mm. I love that beefy flavor. Pinakuloan natin siya ng matagal and long enough para lumabas yung mga juices ng beef. At lumabas yung talagang broth niya. So, sarap. Mm. Ako, sana I made justice to the way, you know, Batanganyos make their bulalo. And sana kayo rin nagustahan niyo ang version ko na beef bulalo. Don't forget to click like kung nagustuhan ninyo, and to subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's youtube.com slash kitchenqueenph. Or you can go to our website, kitchenqueenph.com. Again, this has been Chef Lisa, giving you fun and fresh ideas on how to become your very own kitchen queen. Mm. Add some flavor when it's done to adding. So first, 